I'm librarian Hugh Womack and this is creating and using group libraries in Zotero. Group libraries will allow you to select a collection of works to share with other users. This comes in very handy when you're collaborating on a paper, a project, a book chapter, and you need to share citations between multiple people. So we'll go ahead and get started and navigate to Zotero.org, Z-O-T-E-R-O dot O-R-G, and we'll log in. This video assumes that you've installed Zotero, you've used Zotero before, and you're familiar with it. And it assumes you've already got a Zotero account. When you log into Zotero, you're going to want to select the Groups option, and you're going to want to create a new group. I'm going to give my library a name. And this is important. There are three options for your library. It can either be public with open membership that anyone can join, public where everyone can view it but only people you allow to can join, and private where it's only viewable and accessible by people you invite. You'll find that most commonly you'll be using the private membership option. Now if you're a scholar in the field and you're sharing uh, your research with other scholars in the field, you may find that public open or public close is the best way to go. I'll use for our purposes today private membership and choose that option and I'll create this group. Once I've created the group, then I'll need to add people to the group. I have several settings here that I can adjust, but the default settings work pretty well. So I'll click up here under Member Settings, and then I can send invitations to anyone whose email address I happen to know. I'll add my personal Gmail account and that will send an invitation to that email address and if the person receiving that invitation clicks on it and has a Zotero account, very important, you can't invite someone to a shared Zotero library unless they have a Zotero account. And you'll need to send the invitation to the email address that they use with their Zotero account. Now let me show you what this Zotero shared library looks like inside of Zotero. If we open up the Zotero application, we can see our group libraries over here on the left. You won't notice this until you actually have some group libraries listed here. And if I scroll down, here is my test library I just created. And I can add items to this library, or I can drag and drop existing items into this library. Simply by using the click, hold, and drag feature, and once I drag and drop, if I click on the library, now this item exists in both places. And again, these group libraries come in very handy when you need to share uh, a group of sources between multiple users. This has been Creating and Using Group Libraries in Zotero. I'm Hugh Womack. I'll see you again soon.